do you get, do you have any sense of where this, where this may go? Cause obviously you've given us the, the possibilities here, but unfortunately sometimes, you know, we are let down by our, by our own system. Um, what seems like a slam dunk to come out and the details to come out may not be so what are your, what's your gut telling you? I wish I could answer. I don't know. I mean, the NHL concussion lawsuit, I thought that that was going to be certified as a class action. It wasn't the case died. The guys got 20 grand each and they're told to move on. Um, you know, in the case of junior hockey players suing for minimum wage, that case was certified as a class action and it's still settled, and the players got about twenty thousand dollars, and they move on. So, I, I, and you know, where, what should happen? I, I can't answer that. Uh, I'd love to put that to John Doe one and John Doe two and ask them. Um, you know, I, one of the, the reasons that I do what I do, it's certainly not to be popular in the hockey world. You know, I know, and I started out. I started this job reporting on games, and you know, asking guys how they feel and. You know, wasn't that a great clapper and looking forward to the next game, right? And off day features. I did that for a time. I just didn't find that it made me feel like I had made a difference or accomplished as much as I wanted to personally. So, you know, my hope is that somehow these guys are able to feel like they've had a sense of justice and they've had their voice and that they're able to find closure one way or another or some way to to kind of repair and, and move forward with their lives. I, I can't say I know how you feel because I don't. Um, I just know that I, I just wish that there was more people in hockey media like you guys who are willing to tackle this because it's been something, to be honest, I've been a bit embarrassed about. I consider myself a journalist and I wonder how many people who would describe themselves in the same way have thought, oh, there's no, I, I can't go there. I, I won't get, Colin Campbell won't call me back again. Bill Daly, he won't email me again if I go there. And if that's the case, I think it's pretty sad. Were, were you surprised, I, to be honest, I was, uh, with the amount of Blackhawks-related questions? Um, I believe it was before game one of the Stanley Cup final to Gary Bettman and Bill Daly. I, I Thinking back, I, yeah, I was a little bit surprised. Um, I was also surprised at the way, I don't know if you guys remember this, but my sense was that Gary Bettman, considering the subject matter, maybe his PR team could have talked to him about being a little more, having more of a serious countenance about him. Um, this is a serious subject, right? And regard, you know, he said, well, we want to see where the, what the facts are. We don't know what the facts are. Independent investigation you still might have said, if you're the commissioner of the NHL, it's always horrible when one of our former players or active players uh, makes an accusation like this, and we are determined to get to the bottom of this. And if the Blackhawks don't, we will as a league. Um, I wonder if that would have been, you know, a more prudent answer from the NHL, as opposed to Blackhawks are looking after this. Because again, the Blackhawks say they already did look after this. Remember? They said in their, 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 their motion to dismiss, they had investigated this and they had found that these claims didn't have any merit. So what's different now? Why are they now saying that this independent investigation is, is also an opportunity for self-reflection? So that's Danny Wirtz's words. What's to reflect on? You said that you already investigated this as an organization and there's nothing there. What's changed? And if something's changed, wouldn't the right thing to do be to reach out and find out how to try to make this player whole. We're talking about a billion dollar company. And if you now know that Brad Aldrich did what he's accused of doing, forget about legally for a second, morally, if this was your, and you know, you three guys, if this was your boy who had been victimized, would you not hope that the league would and the team would say, we're going to make this right? That was a point. You would hope. Yes, you would. Yeah. Elliot Freeman brought up a point there, and I I could not think of, of an answer to his question, but basically, if, like, let's say this dies in court, right? Let's say it doesn't make it. Then what? Like, are the Blackhawks, do, do you have the impression that even if they are found to be legally not responsible, legally 
clean for lack of a better word. Again, I'm not a lawyer either. Um, are they under any obligation? Do they have any desire to make any kind of changes within their management group? Good question. I wonder about the pressure from sponsors. Um, you, you know, called all the sponsors, didn't you? I did. None of them would talk. But, but maybe after this runs its course, if there is a result, I mean, again, Jenner and Block, I talked to somebody else who was on a phone call with Jenner and Block as a wit, like listening in, they weren't being questioned. They were sort of sitting off to the side and they said that they think Jenner and Block understands that its reputation is at stake with this. And they were actually feeling optimistic about where this would go. So if that's true and Jenner and Block does come out with a report, even if the lawsuit's dismissed. Jenner and Block comes out with a report. They say, yes, this happened. Yes, the team buried it. What happens then? Well, in the NBA, the Dallas Mavericks had an independent investigation determine that their culture was completely toxic. So <laughs> Mark Cuban, in that case, uh, donated $10 million to charities and ad advocacy groups for people who are abuse victims. The same thing just happened with the Washington NFL case, although that case could still go the criminal way. But we know that the NFL took over an investigation there, again, found that there was sexual harassment and misconduct rampant through the club and fined the Washington team $10 million. So I suppose, long-winded answer, sorry, but I suppose if, even if this is tossed from court, a report finding the team was culpable here could wind up with the fine, could wind up with, I mean, lost draft picks, I guess. Hey, if the, if the Arizona Coyotes are going to lose draft picks over working guys out when they shouldn't have, then is it even fathomable that a team like this could not be held accountable for if it's found to have covered up sexual assault? Of course, I, I would hope so.